In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to use the Move and Rotate tool. Uh, there's two ways you can access the Move and Rota Rotate tool. Uh, one, you can click up the top here on your Features toolbar um, and then move down where it says Move and Rotate. And when you hover over your object, you'll see that you get this pretty, I think it looks fairly intimidating, uh, all these lines and arrows, but it's actually pretty straightforward. So let's start with how to move an object. Um, I like to use my view cube to move my object because I know that if I go and click on my front view, I then know that if I click on the move, um, I would be moving to my right. And here I can also only see another option which is moving upwards and down. Now if I wanted to move away from me I would then have to go to my top view to be able to move backwards. Now if I show that in an isometric view you can see you can go up forward towards me and then to your sides. Now one thing to notice is you need to make sure that your arrow gets filled fully yellow. It's quite tricky when you do it in isometric view but see that's okay, that's fine, it's gone yellow. This one here is it's tricky because it's almost snapping to the other features as well. It's really important that you first see that the arrow is fully yellow before you move otherwise nothing will happen and you're almost just going to move your object free form so make sure the arrow is fully yellow and then you can move back and forth up and down on your y z and x axes now to rotate it's a similar principle you see here you've got three circles with two lines on either side so that circle here will allow you to rotate your object like so. A nice feature that I like is you can actually, if you know how much you want to rotate your object by, you can actually just type that value there and click enter. I'm going to undo, go back to the start. So I will go to move and then I can rotate on the horizontal axis and also on this axis. Quite simple. Again, I like to use my view cube because I'll notice how I'm on the top view I can only rotate it in this direction. If I go to my front, I can rotate it on this axis and vice versa. The other way you can um, access the move and rotate tool is by simply clicking on your object and you can see that you have a toolbar that appears on the bottom hand side. Um, you can then see that there's a move button there and that's another way that you can uh, access the move and rotate tool. So just to recap you can select transform at the top here, move down, click on it and you'll see that you'll have your rotating and moving options uh, and you can also click on your object and you'll see that the move tool appears here as well. So hopefully that's helped you. Go ahead and make yourself a cone, practice moving back and forth, up and down, rotating um, and Soon enough, you'll see how easy it is.